This video is sponsored by Moore Audio. Check links in the description for all of the products showcased in this video. Today we're taking a look at the guitar that claims to have a college degree. This is the GTRS S801 Intelligent Guitar. Here are some timestamps if you want to jump around the video. So what makes this an intelligent guitar? It's this little black knob right here. This is called the Super Switch, which as far as I can tell is something that's unique to GTRS. I've never really seen anything quite like this on a guitar before, so whenever I first saw it online, I was super, super interested in it. I reached out, had a little bit of back and forth with someone from GTRS Guitars. She was super duper helpful in the entire process. Got one of these sent out to me for me to check out. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. I greatly appreciate it. There is a link in the description if you want to go check out their website. It's not affiliate, so I'm not making any money if you click it or buy anything from that link. Just trying to spread the good word on some good products. Again, link in the description. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you get when you order one of these guitars. So they retail for about $699 US. You're obviously gonna get a beautiful looking guitar and you have a myriad of colors to choose from. Again, link in the description to their website. It's gonna come shipped to you in this beautiful gig bag here. We've seen one of these on the channel before, so we know that they're really, really good quality. In that gig bag, you're gonna get a couple of different items, some pretty strange, but just bear with me. The first thing you're gonna get is an owner's manual. I know a lot of us scoff at guitar owner manuals because why do we need them? I highly recommend checking this one out and keeping it around because you're probably gonna need to refer to it when you first start using this guitar. The next weird item that you're gonna get is a USB-C cable. This cable is used to charge the aforementioned super switch. So down here by the output jack, there's a USB-C port. Just plug that cable into there, plug it into the wall, and you're good to go. Last but not least, you get a bag of tools. You get a press-in tremolo arm, so it's not a screw-in. It just presses into the bridge. Really, really nice to have. You get your standard Allen keys, your large and your small to make your bridge adjustments. And the other weird tool that you get in there is this straight piece of metal. What could this thing be for? Well, this is for your truss rod adjustments. That's because your truss rod is located down here at the bottom of the neck. So it's very, very Charvel-like. You just take and put your piece of metal in there, turn it left or right, and you make your truss rod adjustments. It's really that simple. In the instruction manual, it also tells you to pull out your phone and download the GTRS app on your phone. Highly recommend it. We're gonna discuss this in a little bit. And then just quickly to mention, an optional add-on, which is sold separately, but was sent to me also with the guitar, is the beautiful matching Bluetooth foot switch that goes with the guitar. How cool is that? So let's just run through some specs of the GTRS S801 guitar. So coming up here, we have our GTS headstock, GTRS logo, one string tree. Flipping over to the back, you have a sticker with a QR code. That's very important. You need to scan that on the app in order for it to, I guess, register your guitar and to be able to use the app. GTRS tuners, not had any problems thus far, so they work pretty well. Bone nut, always a bonus to have a bone nut in there. Coming down here, you have a roasted maple neck, and on this one, the 801 has a roasted maple fretboard as well, which I kind of prefer, but the S800 has 
some kind of rosewood equivalent. I don't know if it's rosewood. It's probably laurel or jatoba or something like that. It's got a satin finish to the neck. It's a little thicker than say your traditional Fender E-shape, but it's still very, very comfortable to play. 22 jumbo nickel frets, dot inlays, Working our way down to the body, it's a basswood body. It probably weighs about as much as your typical Fender Strat. Right here, as I mentioned earlier, the truss rod adjustment wheel is right here underneath the neck. Super, super convenient to be there. The body is finished in this beautiful shell pink because, well, if you're new to my channel, we're, we do flamingos here, so pink just suited it the best. And because why not? Perloid pit guard, it's a three ply, I believe. It looks like three ply to me. You have an HSS pickup configuration, so super, super versatile guitar. These are, just, these are just GTRS custom made pickups. They sound really, really nice. Five way switch here, one volume, one tone, the aforementioned super switch down here. We're gonna get to that, I promise, guys. Two point pivot bridge down here, individual saddles. So again, very, very Fender-esque. Flipping over to the back, you have that QR code on your neck plate as well. You have this little kind of bevel here, just makes it comfortable to get up here along with the nice little carve here. You also have your cover on the back, which is also three ply perloid. And then, like I said, down at the bottom, you have your output jack, your USB-C charging port, and the battery is somewhere down in here. I want to mention that this guitar functions as a normal guitar. Whether you charge it or not, whether you turn the super switch on or not, you don't have to use the super switch. It functions out of the box, straight up as a normal guitar. So even if you bought this and never used the switch, never charged it once, never used the foot pedal or the app, anything like that, this is a functional, solid playing guitar. And just in case you don't believe me that it can function as a normal guitar without using the Super Switch, here's my Blackstar HT5. I've got the guitar plugged in as you can see. The Super Switch is off because when it's on, you can see that there are lights flashing on it, so it is off. I'm gonna turn the volume up and uh... It's a normal guitar, guys. All right, everybody, so let's go ahead and explore the app a little bit because there's a lot to this and it's really, really cool. So when you get signed up, set up, scanned, whatever you gotta do, here's what you'll land on. You have a guitar check mark, disconnect, bunch of different buttons over here. Let's go ahead and explore some of these buttons. This little one up in the corner here with a bunch of random numbers and letters, I think that's your serial number. When you click on it, you get a little mini spec sheet right in the palm of your hands. That's really cool. The folder here is your tone library. So you have a myriad of different kinds of tones from different kinds of genres. And it basically is changing what each position on your super switch sounds like. That's crazy innovative. That's really, really cool. Really, really versatile. You can get all kinds of different combinations. The possibilities are really, really endless. I mean, come on. Going back to the main menu here, you have this little mixer icon. Shock and awe, it's a mixer. <laughs> but you have the Bluetooth volume, the UB USB out volume, the guitar volume, and the main out. You can change your volumes, all that kind of stuff. But ladies and gentlemen, it gets deeper than that. If all of this does not satiate your tone shaping thirst, if it doesn't quench that, it goes deeper. Let's check this out. You click on this wrench icon and it gets, first off, your guitar. How cool is that? Right here where it says GTA, GTRS original tone. Click on that you're gonna get this little menu come up. And when you change your pickup selector, you'll see right here, it changes. Okay. Make sure that little power button is on when it's blue. So when it's off like that, when it's lit up, it's, it's on. Right here, you can change the EQ of each pickup position, not just the pickup itself. So if you change the neck pickup, you know, EQ or whatever, if you go into the fourth position, you're changing a whole, you can change a whole new sound. It's, it's bananas. So like we're in the first position here, you can dial all the mids back out of there. Like right now it's at 0 0.5. If I go to the second position, you see the second position is negative two on the mids. That's crazy. You have treble, mid, mid shift, bass and gain. And again, that's on each pickup position. That's crazy deep, you might be saying. That's really, really cool. I can get a lot of sounds. It goes deeper, believe it or not. Right here where it says 01 GTRS original tone. You click that drop down box. Those are different pickups or simulations because there's acoustic simulators in there as well. There's a 58 Les Paul pickup. There's an auditorium CE, which is an acoustic simulator. Down at the bottom, there's a Martin acoustic simulator. There's a casino. 
There's a JP and the JP Piezo. There's a Jaguar pickup, a Tele pickup, different types of Strat pickups. You can make these combinations on each individual pickup position. You could change your humbucker to a 58 Les Paul pickup and then have that in between sound on number two be a Jaguar pickup and then have the middle pickup be an acoustic simulator and then have the fourth position be a, I don't know, you can make it, you get my point. It's crazy. And then on top of that, you can essentially EQ each of those pickups. You're probably gonna get option paralysis from doing this, but it's really fun to mess around with. And it's cool to have that option because if you're not quite liking the pickups, you have no excuse to pull this pit guard off and go dump more money into pickups because these pickups are fully customizable as they are in the guitar right now through the app, through an app, ladies and gentlemen, that is technology at its finest. So if you go back here where it shows the picture of your guitar, before you go in there and start messing with your pickups, check this out. Click the gear icon, you get another menu. You have a tuner, you have drums, you have chords, you have a looper. I think global is like the cloud where you can go and get people's combinations. It's almost like an Axe FX or like a Kemper where you can download Kemper profiles. There's your mixer. You can change the language. You can update your software. You can rename it. I mean, it's it's crazy. Let's check out the tuner real quick just to see what that looks like. So there's that. Look at that. You can even change the hertz. We're at 440 hertz right now. So if you want to tune at different frequencies, you can do so. Going back. Click on your drum machine. There's your drum machine. Looks like it's got some beats built in. You can change the speed, the type of beat, the tempo. Obviously, you can put a metronome on there, all kind of cool stuff. Chords. Don't know how to play a chord. There's your chord book right at your fingertips. There's your mixer again. You have a looper built right in. So if you want to record an idea or you want to try to loop something to try to build a solo, you have a looper built right in. And then everything else is just kind of general settings, so I'm not going to mess with those. It's like language and stuff like that. Make sure you update to the latest software as well, but the app itself has so much to explore and to try to learn, and it's exactly why I say make sure that you hang on to this manual because it explains how to operate all of that stuff in every language known to man. Not really, but a lot of languages in here. So there's really no excuse to not hang on to this and just read it, I promise. I know it sounds silly to read a manual for a guitar, but it's really for the app, so. All right, let's go ahead and get some tones from this beautiful guitar. Just note this down, somewhere in your brain, on a piece of paper, something. Everything that you're gonna hear is coming straight from the guitar. I'm running it into Cubase through my Focusrite 2i2, and that's it. I have a plain track on here with no effects, no amp sims, no IRs, everything is coming straight from the guitar, powered through the amp, connected to the super switch. It's all Bluetooth, it's super duper simple to connect. Again, refer to your owner's manuals on both of those products. I also have the foot switch at the floor, but as you can see from the app here, it pretty much mimics that. So I'm on the neck pickup here, we're gonna just start with a nice, clean sound. Really, really superb clean sound. It's got a little bit of delay to it or reverb, and it just sounds, I mean, it's a really, really nice clean sound, you gotta admit. So if you come over to the app here, you'll notice there's a little drop down bar. And if you click that drop down bar, it's gonna give you a long list of tones, and they are all fantastic tones. I've run through just about every one of them, and there's not one that I hate on here. Something else that you'll notice is that they're labeled things like 1A and 2C and 0D, things like that. It goes all the way to 9, so you have 0A, 0B, 0C, and 0D 
all the way down to 9A through 9D. So you got a lot of effects to choose from. So basically what you can do is go to the app and pick something like 1A or 1B and you'll have that one set, 1A through 1D, loaded up into your Bluetooth foot switch. I'm on the zero set right now, so you can see zero B, that's the clean sound that you just heard. But if I go to say zero C, you can see zero C here is the British lead sound, which we'll put it on the bridge pickup and it sounds like this. Sounds really, really cool on its own now, doesn't it? Again, I have no other effects or anything going through Cubase here. Personally, one of my favorite sets is the 5 set, so 5A through 5D. So we're going to go ahead and check that one out. So you just click the drop down, scroll down to 5A, click 5A. And as you can see on here, it's changed to 5A. So now all of the 5 sets are loaded up here. So this is Suede back on the neck pickup now. <laughs> So it's like a slightly like edge of breakup kind of overdriven clean sound. Let's check out 5B. Really, really, really nice sounds. So I switched from the neck pickup back to the bridge pickup there. I'll give you some in-between sounds in here in just a second. Let's switch to 5C, which is Blues RG. I had to double check what that was. Staying on the bridge pickup. <laughs> Again, super, super great sound. Let's give you an in-between sound. So this is gonna be the second position. So it's still at the humbucker, but gonna split that and give you the middle pickup as well. What can I say? This is a super versatile guitar, guys. Seriously. 5D. Blues lead. I think we can all kind of imagine what that's going to sound like. <laughs> A lot of delay on that. It's a really nice delay too. Really, really cool stuff. But you guys know me. This is more of a metal channel. We don't really play blues and clean stuff here. Let's try to find a nice hard rock kind of gainy preset. I think 9A through 9D suits that pretty well with names like Hollowed, Smooth Drive, 
USA Metal, and 80 Solo. I think all of those will work just fine. So this is Hollowed. <laughs> kind of spooky ain't it sounds really really cool you got a nice kind of tremolo kind of vibrato-y effect there I forget what that effect's called please correct me in the comment but nice for kind of giving some ambiance to your songs let's go to 9b and see what that sounds like <laughs> Okay, so a little bit of overdrive on that. It's probably gonna sound really, really good on the neck pickup. Let's try that out. Yeah, sounds really, really cool. 9C is US metal, USA metal. Let's see what that sounds like. That sounds awesome. And what kind of metal is complete without a nice 80 solo? I can't play an 80 solo, but you know. <laughs> guitar wankery for you super super versatile I can't say enough good things about it you need to get one of these guitars it'll change your recording life it'll change your live life because you hook this up to a clean amp and just let the let all of this do the work for you you're good to go these are awesome awesome guitars get the foot switch too I'm not sure how much the foot switch is check the website link in the description again it's totally worth it totally 100% worth it so just some final thoughts and opinions on the GTRS S801 Intelligent Guitar. It is truly a unique instrument. Aside from the technology that's built into it, it's a greatly built instrument. I mean, quality wise, it's totally worth the $699 price tag. Honestly, I think that that is a that's a really good price for what you're getting. I mean, between this, the app, all that kind of stuff. It it just plays well. The the possibilities with the technology inside are endless. Between this, the app, the foot switch, all that kind of stuff. You can craft just about any tone that you can think of. And then you'll discover some that you would have never thought of. It's absolutely crazy. Nothing on this needs to be upgraded out of the box because you can <laughs> practically change everything that you need to change from the app. It's a great guitar. Totally worth your time, totally worth your money. Had this video not been sponsored, I would have said that a million times over. It's a great guitar. I recommend you check the links in the description to go buy one. Again, they're not affiliate links. I'm not making money by saying that. I'm just trying to tell you, you need to, to at least try one of these. They're great. So if you liked the video, please make sure you click the subscribe button, hit that like button, click the bell notification so you're notified when all my future videos go live. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.